my headmaster's name was Richard Johnson. So it was Dick Johnson, headmaster. <laughs> Big tall, lanky guy. He's a really nice guy, actually. A lady that took care of me because my father was a pilot and my stepmother was a stewardess, so they were traveling a lot. And her name was, and she married, her name was Evelyn, and she ended up marrying a guy named, last name Devlin. So it was Evelyn Devlin. Oh my Devlin. god. <laughs> Poor lady. I had a friend it, in high school. Her name was, they called her Maggie, but her full name was Madeline McDermott McDougal. <laughs> we used to say that her dad was Dr. Seuss. Grandmother's made a name with lip shits. If your lip shits, what's your ass do? Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> she was like a big, thick, Eastern European woman, like Did hard, hard living, you know, came came to America. They were always hardy back then. Oh, I mean, super like, hardy. I remember my grandparents, they were hardcore, especially the women. The women never smiled. Like, you'd, you'd see their no photographs, smiling. no smiling. The men would be all, like, happy and yeah. smiling, but not the women. They were, like, you could tell they were running the show. I have a picture of my grandmother. When they came to, the, to America, they went to upstate New York. They were all farmers back in the old country, so they just went and found some land, and they had a horse farm. And I have a picture of her on a horse, and it's like, I can't tell if it's a dude or not. Instead of Lindy, I was gonna name her Ima. I, I'm a fox. And, <laughs> and she is. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Yeah, that would Thank God it was Lindsay. <laughs> Is very important. It is Los Pelicanos and it's Las in Las Gaviotas. Oh. Got a cute little courtyard right here leading up to the Casita door. Voila. They got some great features to this. Number one, I love these double doors looking out into the balcony. Get a little block of a view from the units in um, front of us, but you can get some glimpses of the ocean coming in. They have DVD TVs in each room. And here's the dinette looking out to the other opening doors to the balcony. And this is a cool, this is what I like, the fact that they have not just one fireplace, but two. Here is the kitchen with many amenities. By the way, they did a great job with this. Dishwasher, refrigeration, oven. Very cool. Some really cool artwork. I, I'm, I'm thinking that when they bought this, the people just left everything. They, you know, they came with all the the artwork and doodads, I'm thinking, but I don't know for sure. Um, here's our room. Billy and I are staying in here. It's another entry to the courtyard where you walk in. 
Then there's another little courtyard back here, which is really cute. I like the broken surfboard. I'm gonna leave that open actually. It's getting hot. I gave Jake and Jamie the, the cooler bathroom because they're our guests. So they got, look at this little shower. They get the little rocks, little scenery going on. That's really neat. You could take a bath or shower. And then that's it in a nutshell. We're going to, they're out surfing right now. They left me. Uh, I woke up a little late because I was just exhausted from our sailing trip and Billy and Jamie and Jake are all out surfing right now. We are watching All Is Lost, Robert Redford. We're gonna do a critique on this. We all have boating experience all over the board, by the way. Jake has boat building abilities plus <laughs> sailing. So does Jamie. Billy, same. Not in the same boat. No, you have uh -huh. how, many, how many miles of experience do you have yeah. in boating? Uh -huh. Bad weather sailing? Uh, I've puked in a few, oh, I think, in every ocean. Oh, yeah. yeah cool. I, didn't, I didn't last this time. I definitely yeah. swallowed every ocean. <laughs> That's, every That's for later. Jake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 1,700 nautical miles from the Sumatra Straits. Right. That's in Jersey, right? <laughs> yeah. It's very calm. Okay, so here's a shipping container out in the middle of the Sumatra Straits. I mean, if he was just on watch, you would see it. He's not on watch. So look at the hole. Look at where it's coming from. Yeah, look outside. Nice and slow. Don't want to overreact. <laughs> but now it's all over the electronics. That was lower than that. But it's above the water line. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's the thing. Thank you. It's above the water line. It shouldn't even be flooded. Use that aluminum pole. Oh, West Marine. <laughs> no, it gets worse from here. Container like this. Because <laughs> right? it's stuck on his boat. Maybe. They fucked up no, already. They, I was getting a sea anchor. Tying it off on the uh, cargo container. And, like drag it off the boat, supposedly. Look how calm it is, though. I mean, where do they film this? It worked. Um, it's a, um... Yeah, it's a movie. <laughs> now all of a sudden there's wind. Okay, now put that hole on the high side. Okay, right. No, watch what you did. He's like, oh, I need my sea anchor back. And he floods the boat. He tacks, puts it on the low side, and floods the boat. Tell me he does that. Is that what he does? I think so. Do it. Yep. Do it. Tack the boat. Oh, yeah! We're going to go all the way in! <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know if I can sit through this whole thing. And he's going downwind. He's not, he shouldn't be healed over at all. Okay, watch this. Oh, one. No, he's gonna ram it again. It's a serious act. Very, very. It's magnificent. It's just like docking. <laughs> I would actually North tie sail, myself so. to the container and stay, and stay with it while I repaired the boat. No, Billy said I'd stay on the container because yeah. it's probably safer. Well, it's floating better. Yes. It's nice sneakers. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff, right. stuff those in your boat, they're floating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, is, what, what, are you, what are you doing? Watch for the repair. He's got a fiberglass this gaping hole. Oh, you do. It just gets better. Why are the pumps not running? I know. Why? Right. They, they're oh, all good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well, okay, so the boat is about a 78, but that Blue Sea System E Series switch to the far left, somebody put that on within the last three years. Yeah. Like, he, he moves at a snail pace. He's like, okay, now what do I do? That's his resin kit. What? That. In a wooden box? Which has got to be filled with water. Right. right. Over on the other side, so theoretically, the hole should be like clear. What is this, like, Grandpa's secret, like, <laughs> fucking genie box. antique box of obscure resins? Wait, what did he just put in there? No epoxy uses a little I juice drop. of eye drops. He just put M-E-K in epoxy. He just ruined it. Wow. What is he doing? <laughs> it's like when you get look, look at how you cut that piece, too. It's just like, I don't want to use a whole piece oh right now. Oh, my God. 
And then it's later on they show that like he glues a paint stick in there. <laughs> no. <laughs> you gotta use what you got. Why does he not have a whole roll of fiberglass on his boat if he's crossing an ocean? Get that fucking table off of your binnacle and glue that to the hole, you'll be fine. <laughs> Take your mattress and... Take anything that's in the boat. Oh, he yeah. had to make a witch handle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden he has no, like, pump handle? Fuck. Oh, now I'm gonna pump. Oh, this All is right. so fucking dumb. <laughs> you still love it. <laughs> <laughs>